Today marks the 34th, the 34th day of our strike, but we are ready to go for 100 days, we are ready to go for 200 days, we are ready to go for 100 years. Today just marks one month of the strike. We have interns now, their salary is being reduced by 90% and some 70%. And we are here now on a strike where we are demanding that the issues that we have presented to them, that is the employment of doctors, the composition of interns, the implementation of the CBA, that is also the matters of, uh, of, of insurance, must be implemented. So we are working to the COG. We will be here next week on Tuesday and we will continue being there. Today marks the 34th, the 34th day of our strike. But we are ready to go for 100 days, we are ready to go for 200 days, we are ready to go for 100 years. Today just marks one month of the strike. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think the strike will be fruitful in terms of how may say that this is illegal? Uh, his, his statements were the ones which were illegal, that's why he's not here today. But we must thank him that uh, the police have been giving us security, because the police know very well that once you give the notice, and we are peaceful and the way we are, unless they are, have different instructions, we have not done anything that will be illegal. So, so far, it has been peaceful and we are proceeding to, CO, to COG. We want to say that we give notice and Vuvuzuelas and whistles are the only language we can use to speak on the street. And we want our plight, our issues to be understood. Because when there are no doctors, there are no, when there are no healthcare workers in the hospitals, then the patients can't get care. We are Kenyans and we are, we are able to also be patient actually at one particular point. So we know when we, are, when, when we, are, when we speak of the issues of Kenyans, it's we are, it's that we, are, we are Kenyans. And therefore there is need that these taxes that we pay, be part of it must be used to actually make healthcare work. It can't be that we are essential healthcare providers, but then in terms of budgets, we are the third, third in the line or fourth in the line. That's why the strike will continue until issues are implemented. Over okay, to you. So what are your expectations? In terms of going marching to the Council of Government, do you think they will hear you out? This uh, speaking is uh, Peterson Washira. So today we know that the Council of Governors, the full Council is actually sitting. Uh, and we are going there because the Council of Governors, the 47 county governors, are in contempt of court. So we are actually not the people who are on the wrong. It is the governors who are on the wrong. And the second thing is that we are here to also claim our rights under Article 37 to demonstrate and to pick it. And that is why today we must ensure that we reach the Council of Governors, we must ensure that we reach Parliament, because we have a right under the Constitution, and that right cannot be limited, and especially by a constitutional office. Correct. I know, Kenyatta Avenue, then you turn left, Uru Highway, to the COG, Sasa. You only use one side of the road, you only block the road, Sasa. We have traffic marshals in uniform who will control your movement. Yes. We are going to see you because there's a full council meeting. Yes, sir. So we want to go and see where Guru Nina.
So kitu kuna kitu kuna kitu tunasema hapa hivi ni tunaona madaktari wamekuja hapa na amani. Uh, lakini tunaona polisi wamekuwa deployed hapa ku intimidate, uh, ku blackmail madaktari na daktari sio criminals. Na kitu sisi tunaomba serikali na tuna, tunawaambia si hata kuomba tunawaambia ukiangalia North Rift kuna insecurity iko high sana. So hii kama wanaweza kuja kulinda wakora hapa na wa polisi Mbona wasilinde innocent Kenyans? Shule zimefungwa huko Baringo. Kwa sababu ya insecurity. Mbona wa polisi wasipeleke huko walinde wananchi? Inaonyesha tuko na security lakini security ni ya kulinda majambazi. Okay, last time, last time there were goons who were deployed to uh, harass doctors or to attack doctors. I compare the same goons who are sent to harass doctors with the police because the police are doing the same thing of intimidating doctors who are peaceful and they are seeking for a solution to this matter. Yes, we want a solution. Everybody wants a solution. People are suffering. Poor patients are dying. And the, uh, our leaders are comfortable. I mean, they are comfortable in power. The power has gotten into their hands. So what I'm saying is we need change. And that change must come from us. Down there, we must mobilize the masses and uh, make the masses to know the truth that we can change this country. These people have been in power for so long, so now they, 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 they are so comfortable. These people never resign when things go wrong. Or, or, or they cannot do the, that honorable thing of resigning. Why? We must ask such questions. Like now, Nakumicha should have resigned like a long time ago, so that we can get a solution to this impasse. Because uh, it, it cannot go on like this. It's not tenable in the long run. People are dying in the hospitals. These people pay taxes. We poor people pay taxes. So. If our taxes is to protect uh, these and murderers in power, that is very bad for a civilized society. It is very bad. We must change and the media must come in and uh, expose these matters. It's only about exposing these issues and bringing the issues to the light. And uh, I think we'll be going in the right way for everybody, for every one of us. My name is Eugene Masinde Simiu and I'm an upcoming intern in my final year at the University of Nairobi. I want to take this opportunity to talk to the government, especially the top leadership, that including the decision makers, that is the president, the CS, and the KMPDC that govern us as the healthcare community, especially as the doctor. That The CBA that we signed in 2017 to 2021, I want to remind them that that CBA is legally binding and, and there are no other loophole, no other option. And, unless they come to the negotiating table and air their grievances in that they are complaining that the, the wage bill is expensive but they should be the first people to be the role model in showing concern that maybe the wage bill is, uh, is big but before, before coming us to the doctors we have the CS, we have the politicians, the, the, the leaders of the community, the mass first be the role model before allowing us to to accept the salary reduction but recently they have their, their salary adjusted due to inflation why not us we are not fools we are one of the top learned community in the in in kenya as a whole and this is an insult to our intellect it's an insult to the moral fabric of the society and personally as a student i'm really discouraged and I will not tolerate an insult to our medical community in terms of work. And as a KMPDU, we, we, we are requesting for the CS to understand one thing, that equip healthcare and all these masses, and we will never have these issues again. Because the last time we went on strike was in 2017. We've given the government a lot of time. To, 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 to handle our issues and this is unfortunate that the patients are dying in the street are dying in the hospitals and and, 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 the, and the politicians are making are, ma are making are making this issue as a as a as a as a petty issue in that they are politicizing it and the patients are dying.